I'm Marcus Berman. I'm doing a show at the Edinburgh Fringe uh, called Happily Ever After. This is Edinburgh Fringe TV. Welcome. I'm talking about heartache and love lost in the show and uh, the festival's obviously a really nice environment to do that, very supportive. I've traditionally done uh, a drawing. I went to art college and uh, enjoyed drawing and uh, I've done a backdrop for my previous three shows. So I've been uh, challenged by the uh, producers of uh, Edin Fringe TV to uh, draw them. We've got a bit of a draw off here. We're going to sit down and uh, see who's got the best drawing. You just unbuttoned your shot a couple of buttons. <laughs> <laughs> We should, uh, we've all got too much clothes on, too many oh. clothes on. <laughs> a big life drawing class of us sitting here with no clothes on would be much better. Why do you think love is such a good sort of concept to use for your stand up? Everybody's been in love, had their hearts broken, you know, so, 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 so I think it's like something that relates to everybody, you know, unless you're, you know, I don't know, serial killer or under 15. Hello there, we're here at the assembly at George Square and we were wondering if you could say anything to your ex. What would it be? Yeah, that's not me again. F*** you. I was old man saggy balls. <laughs> Why are you such a prick? I still ain't shit. What the f*** is wrong with me? <laughs> Good riddance. I grow a pair of balls. Thank God they dumped you. If an audience is, is warm and kind and likes me, then I feel like I haven't sort of cheated myself by telling them about revealing, you know, opening my heart to them. Um, I mean, we know, we, we, we reckon, we, you can recognise it even within, even within the festival, the Friday and Saturday night, crowds are different. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's it, to liken it to kind of musical thing, if, like, if you're going out on a Friday night, you, you, know, you, you don't want to hear Bob Dylan, you want to hear, you know, you want flipping Jump Around by the House of Pain, don't you? And, and, but of course, Jump Around by the House of Pain, you actually listen to the lyrics, they're crap. Yeah. Uh, you know, but, but, whereas Bob Dylan's lyrics are brilliant, but you don't want that on a Friday night. So, so it's, it's a different, but maybe if you're going to sort of, festival show, you want to sit down and think, then that's when you want Bob Dylan, isn't it? And you don't want, you know, I'll serve your ass like John McEnroe. <laughs> you know, really, will you? I'd kind of like to see them again. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm never going back to Cambridge. I love you. Why do you live in Italy? <laughs> what are you doing next Saturday? I mean, you remember from last year, I did a show about having a stroke, and of yeah. course, that's not desperately Friday night material. And, so, and, and I'd often not do it, but I sort of sense this audience actually is very, I like them. You know, and then suddenly, I, and I was, I go, no, I'm just going to talk about this. And for, to get that on a Friday night when people have been talking about their penises or whatever, and that suddenly it's just like it's, it takes a moment, and you can feel that kind of there's a gear shift, and then they go, actually, thank you, this is really, really good. You know, like it's really like, uh, but but it, I've also done that, and, and it and it been a car crash because they didn't respond, and then I get furious. So so um because I'm sort of. Oh, this is really me, you know, and then and they don't care. So um, it's like it's a pretty gladiatorial environment, and it, it's very difficult to sort of go in there and be. I was sort of liken it to being like a bit of a boxer. You go in there and you try and punch their lights out, and it's a bit difficult to to, <laughs> to mix violence and romance at the same time. Yeah, uh, I, no, I've tried. <laughs> maybe not in Edinburgh so much. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Stand, I think traditionally you go out and be. It's very alpha male, isn't it? It's like I'm, I'm, you'd follow me into battle. Mm. For me to go up there and go, I've been crying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, who's this pansy? Right? Yeah. <laughs> For an hour, really? Come on, you know. Another day, when you get past all the anger and the hatred and the, you know, it's just take care, have a good life. And I, I mean, I make a joke in the show that kind of, you know, I'd written, uh, I had a stroke and I dealt with it by doing a show about it. And this year, I've, I've broke up with my partner. I've dealt with it by, you know, writing a show. And it's like, God knows. The good Lord's got in store for me next year, but I hope, I hope it's bad, or I've never got you know what, what am I going to say? You know, you know. So, so um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, is that care, care for what you wish for? I think is the thing. Go and throw yourself in front of the train. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. We're friends. I tell you what, I've not been flattering on your nose here. No. So, I'm finished up here, guys. Me too. As as much as I'm gonna. I think it's good. Really tired, it? It's my one. I've put this as Joe, just in case you don't know who it is, and that's Joe. It's Rolf Harris. Well, that is. I don't mind Rolf Harris. I thought, I was kind of like, because of the artwork and stuff, I've always thought, I was talking to people, I was like, I want to be 
Rolf Harris for the 21st century, and then all of that kind of slightly slipped a bit over the recently. Maybe I don't want to be Rolf Harris for the 21st century. <laughs>